Welcome to the Total Online video series. In this video, we will walk through entering a simple sample client in Total Online. To get the most out of this video, please take the time to enter the client on your own first, then watch to see how we suggest entering the case. The client for this video is Johnny and Marie Sample. The first step is to create a new client and enter the basic information. Make sure to check the married box this is an easy to overlook item that impacts a lot of the reports. Next, we'll go into the blank scenario that was created with the client and use this for the, our first scenario. Make sure to name your scenarios. This makes them easier to differentiate in the future. And we need to enter retirement and life expectancy agents. For this case, I'll be using my basic rates of return, so I'm going to check to make sure that those are set how I would like them. They are, since I made sure to set my defaults before doing this case. Next, I will look at my surplus allocation to make sure that, that is how I would like to have it. In this case, we are only going to have a few assets, and for no other reason than to only make deposits into the types of accounts that already exist, we will change their surpluses to only go into taxable and equity accounts. Now we're ready to enter their assets. Since I am entering these by hand instead of importing them from a third-party software, I am going to enter the assets in a summary manner with a focus on overall account balances rather than entering them at a holding level. There is some detail that I am giving up in the reports by doing this. However, I feel that especially if assets are entered by hand, the time savings is more than worth the detail that is lost. You'll notice on this emergency savings account, I uncheck the box available for withdrawal. That makes it so that this account shows up on the net worth, but is not available for retirement spending. Notice that I am also not entering the optional data input items as I'm focusing on getting a basic plan created for Johnny and Marie. A couple of these assets have additions that are currently going into the uh, account. These are entered here and pre-retirement additions under this accordion. We just have a couple more accounts to enter, the uh, two retirement accounts for Johnny and Marie. You can see with this having taken the most time of all of the input we've done so far, why I'm doing this in a summary fashion rather than focusing on what holdings go into each of these accounts. Next up is liabilities. Here we have a mortgage that needs to be tied to the home asset so that if we sell the home through the asset section, the program will know to spend some of the proceeds on paying off this loan. The couple also has a loan that they are paying off for their daughter who recently graduated college. Unfortunately, they don't get the tax deduction on this loan since she isn't a dependent. Our income is straightforward, so we will not need to enter the detailed view for either spouse. We also know that the clients right now are looking at taking Social Security benefits at their full retirement age of 66, but we don't have their statements, so leaving the amount as zero will have the program estimate the benefit for us. The husband has pension through his university. 
with a spousal benefit now and in retirement. And the last income item is that they expect to receive an inheritance from Marie's mom before the end of the year. Now their spouse has life insurance and their companies pay for their current health insurance. However, once they retire, they want to buy health coverage for each of them. Since the premium won't start until the future year, we're going to enter that in the future changes table. Within taxes, we need to make sure to set their filing status and number of exemptions and assign the state that they live in. For itemized deductions, they have some spending for medical deduction now. They plan on that going up some when they retire. Then, starting at Johnny's age 90, they expect to need to live in a long-term care facility. When Johnny passes away, that amount's going to go down as only Marie is going to be the one in the long-term care facility. In expenses, we have one item to cover the rest of the expenses that have not been entered yet. as well as their desired travel. To check the total expenses that have been entered, we can check under the Expense Summary. In Other Expenses, we need to enter that the clients want to buy a new car every seven years starting at age 65 and ending by the time they turn 80. To do this, we need to add the recurring details under the Other Expense Details Accordion. Finally, we're ready for the report. We could run the full report, then choose which pages we want to present to the client. But in this case, I am going to grab the Easy Money Basic Report, which has already been whittled down to focus more on the basics of the case. Once this report is generated, we'll be ready to review the client situation and then go back and make a copy of the scenario so that we can make a recommended case to also present to the client. However, that will be a different training video. For now, take a look at the available basic report that we've generated compared to the one that you've made to see if there are any differences. If so, revisit the video to see if we entered something differently. If that's the case, feel free to call our support team to talk about why we entered the inputs as we did. Thank you for taking the time to go through this sample case with us. If you found this video useful, please look for more training resources to help you get up and running in Total Online.